everyone. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today's devotion will be a little bit different coming from me. Um, this particular devotion is part of one that's on you version. It's called Good or God. Uh, it goes along with the book that John Bevere wrote. And, uh, and so I just want to share that with you. Uh, I'm going to read three scriptures that go along with this uh, particular devotion. And then I'm going to share some of the things that they said and kind of follow up with that. So anyways, uh, the first set of, the first scripture is Proverbs 14, verse 12. It says, There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. And then the next one is Hebrews 5, 14. It says, Solid food is for those who are mature, who through training have the skill to recognize the difference between right and wrong. And then the final one, uh, 1 Kings chapter 3, verse 9, this is dealing with King Solomon. It says, Give me an understanding heart so that I can govern your people well and know the difference between right and wrong. For who by himself is able to, to govern this great people of yours? And uh, when you look at those set of scriptures, it may not make a ton of sense, but what we are talking about is, you know, just because it's good doesn't mean that it's necessarily God. And that basically talking about the discernment and all that. And so I just want to read part of this. It says, Many people might wonder why this question even needs to be asked. The answer seems obvious. What generally accepted as good must be in line with God's will, right? It says, but is that all there is to it? Maybe not. If God is so obvious, why does Hebrews 5.14, which is one of the scriptures we read, say that we must have our senses trained to discern or recognize both good and evil? And it says, this makes it sound like there's a difference between what appears to be good and what God calls good. And, uh, and I think that's one of the things that we, uh, we as Christians struggle with sometimes is when we see something good, um, you know, we, we want to accept it as one of God's blessings, but sometimes, uh, it's not necessarily that case. We have to be able to discern between those things. Uh, and then it talks about, uh, King Solomon. It says, and consider King Solomon at the dawn of his reign, he prayed to have an understanding heart so he could distinguish between what was good, uh, distinguish good from evil. And then it goes into Proverbs 14, 12, what we talked about. Uh, it says that it summarizes the situation for us, that what appears to be good may be the way of death. And then uh, the final little part that I want to read, it says, if we need discernment to tell the difference between good and evil, that means that uh, that means they are, aren't always evident on the surface level. In fact, there may be things that seem good that aren't. And, uh, and I think that's, you know, again, that's the whole thing behind this. Just because it's good doesn't mean that it's God. And we have to discern through that and pray and make sure that we're following along with what God wants us to do and not just looking at it as, you know, the surface level, kind of like what it talked about. Uh, because sometimes when things are surface level, um, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's for us. And so, Anyways, uh, hopefully you got something out of that today. Uh, just make sure that you're using discernment, using prayer, uh, and then letting God guide you, even though uh, it may seem good, it may not be. So let's just pray. Uh, God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for all the blessings. And God, I just pray you order our steps in every way, that we have a great day in you, and that we honor you, and God, that we listen to you. And God, that even though... Uh, sometimes, God, things just seem to fall in our lap. God, I just pray that we use discernment and that we allow you to guide our steps in every possible way. God, I pray that you, you mold us and make us into who you want us to be. In Jesus' name, amen. So today is Wednesday. We have services tonight. We have midweek Bible study for adults here at the main campus starting at 630. Um, over in our children's area, we'll have first kids going on uh, with the mom gardeners. And so they always have a great time. And then uh, right down the hill at our Shepherd Street campus, uh, we have Shine Junior High and Senior High. And so if you have a junior high or senior high uh, student, feel free to drop them off down there and then come on and join us up here for Bible study. Uh, we'll also have childcare available as well. So we hope to see you tonight at 630 and y'all have a great day. Thanks.